Paneer Art Sherpa, and today I'm going to show you how you can paint this gorgeous rainbow chrysanthemum. It's a really beautiful flower, but it's super complicated. It can feel really intimidating to new and beginning painters. So we're going to really break this down. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and strategies to make it easier and go through the process step by step to make it fun, to make it easy, and to make it beginner friendly. On the mic is my husband, John. He helps me. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, that's hey good. guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. He helps me in these goals by tracking me with the cameras, cracking me up, making sure I'm laughing, making sure you're laughing and having a good time. But really, he gets in there and he zooms in and makes sure you see every part of the action. You see the colors being mixed. You see everything going on the canvas. Because what you can see, you can duplicate. A lot of times, you can do a more challenging painting than you think as long as you can see the steps that are involved. We're not going to fast forward. We're not going to skip. We're not going to skimp on anything. It's really going to be here for you. Now, I released a video a little bit ago that is in the iCard and is also on the web page for this. If you look down, there's a link to this web page. On the web page is a free traceable that you can download, is a reference image that you can use, print out, and have next to you. And also our, is a link to this video that's how to get specifically my traceables onto the canvas. <laughs> So not, not all traceables everywhere in every way that it can be traced, but just specifically what we've got to do on the 900 videos that we're doing together. Mm. So if you guys are ready, I'm sort of hop to hop on in. All right. Okay, let's go. This is going to be easy. It's going to be fun. So I have my little reference here. I'll be using it throughout the uh, video. John has a reference for picture in picture. And you're going to see that I have my line drawing here that I've transferred onto the surface. There's a lot of ways that you guys can get these onto the surface. You could use projection, you can freehand, you could grid it in, or you can use a traceable. On something as complicated like this, I decided for beginners it would be best to use a traceable because there's a lot going on. So I used Rasturbator to create an enlarged version of the traceable. And I used Cero paper to be the method by which I put it on my surface. Let's hope that went well. And again, you guys have the link and everything you need to know how to do that. And you can see that works pretty well. Look, we have a beautiful, beautiful, whoop, yellow outline. This tape I got a little enthusiastic with. It's, did you see that? I was like, oh, we'll tape it on like Hulk. Now, you might wonder why I chose to go with yellow as a uh, color for the transfer. And the reason for that is, is that it is the lightest color if you look within my image and so I don't want to use the darkest color I don't want to use anything I want to use my lightest color because that's going to leave me with the, the truest color to work with how we're going to break this down is we're going to go through and take segment by segment by segment by segment and so we're going to just build it like a puzzle little bits little bricks eventually are going to become a big gorgeous rainbow chrysanthemum castle mm. you're going to be amazed at what you can do it's you know it's going to be a minute painting it, but I think you're going to be really proud of it, and it's super worth it. Now, here's the acrylic colors that I'm going to be using today, and I'll put them out as we get into them. I have titanium white, cad red medium, phthalo blue, dox purple, phthalo green, cadmium yellow, cadmium red light. This is a treat to myself. If you don't have this one, that's okay. It won't ruin the painting, but you'll see it gives me a really bright orange, and I think we're going to get a good result out of it. I have uh, quinacridone and magenta. In this line, it's called quinacridone and fuchsia. But it's essentially that. And I've got a link to all of these and Mars Black. I have assorted brushes for acrylic paint. And Dawn, as per the usual, because it's alive with us, guess what I forgot? Because mm. I always forget Water. one thing. Water in towels. Water and towels. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see. What Water in towels. That's the, really a thing that we go check. through. Let's put out our paint while John's helping me because he can put us on the palette. We'll put out our paint. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm painting with uh, Senlier's uh, Heavy Body Fine Artist Acrylic, so that's a fine art professional paint. The difference between a pro paint and a student grade paint is the amount of pigment that is in the paint load. So, all righty, we're just going to figure out how to get through the studio to get water. So, we're going to have to pick a place on here to start, right? And I think I'm going to just pick right here. I think this is going to be the easiest place for me to begin. And honestly, I'm going to go through here and probably fill in this little weird bit of background, maybe even last as a way of finishing it off. So I'm going to start in my purples, which means what I'm going to put out. Boom, de boom, de boom. Oh, not every water we ever own, just some of the water. 
<laughs> I don't know what to do. John's brought all the water we've ever owned. Here's water. I wasn't sure how much He's like, you, you're ready. I love my husband. I, I don't know how your partners are in your lives. Whoever, you know, we all have partners in our lives. But he is an enthusiastic helper. Okay. And uh, so now I'm going to put out some Quin Magenta or uh, Fuchsia Quinacridone in this line. That's the thing to know about paint lines is that sometimes they change the name of the color, but it's the same color. So you always want to be aware of pigment codes. So no. Now I'm going to also put out my uh, Doxazine Purple. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I think we'll add a little phthalo over here for those bordering. And then as we're moving forward, we'll have to have a little bit of the yellow. So we've got all the little paints that we might be using kind of moving around there. And we're going to begin with just a good round brush that's going to be a nice size. I think this is a good size. This is a number eight. You could use a four. You could use a six. This is a bristle on. It's just a really nice brush for acrylic painting. And I'm going to begin by dipping the brush in water, dragging off the extra paint. I'm going to load first with my quinacridone. And I'm going to get just a little purple into that mix. And I'm going to come right here to this leaf. And paint on inside that shape. And when you're painting flowers, guys, brush directionality is a big deal. Our brush strokes need to go the direction that the flower grows. You Why is that? That direction. Hmm? Why is that? Because that implied texture really in affects the visual outcome of everything. And so if your brush strokes are all scribbly, it will take away from the leaf effect. You know, if you watch some of the best florist painters in the world, you'll notice that they're very aware of the directionality of their brush strokes. So you can see I'm getting that little bit in. That looks pretty nice. And then, like, I might grab a little bit of white to create some lighter values. And let's come right here. I'm painting maybe just the tip. That's good. And as I'm coming forward, you know, I have maybe, you know, that's a little lighter in front. So if I'm going to go right here next to it, I need a little more water. So we're just going to work through little bits at a time. So I know I've got this one right here. Coming forward and get even a little more white into this mix where the petal is rolled. Coming between these two. And then I'll get more into my magenta because it'll get deeper and darker as it comes forward on the petal. I'm going to come right there. And I may need to actually even put my glasses on to get through this. Now, how I'm going to keep from getting visually overwhelmed because it's real easy to get visually kind of crushed in a project like this is I'm going to keep it small. I'm going to work little areas, little areas, little spaces. And I may even downsize my brush to something smaller because I want to do everything I can to make my experience within this painting easier. I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to see if I have a smaller version of this brush. And I do have a six, so we'll see how the six goes. Actually, I can even go four. Let's, let's be too, like, let's be all fussy. Now let's go back into our Quinn, loading up on the number four round. I always feel like you can adjust your brushes. And I'm going to put my vision enhancers on. Let me show you these guys. Aren't they awesome? And make sure my mic is all adjusted so you can hear what's going on. And let's darken in here what we're doing. I'm not worried about any glazing or any of that. I'm going to just be doing the paint today. I'm going to go ahead and paint the dark value in and also some of the ribs and value that I'm seeing here. So really, when you look at it, what are we focused on? We're just going to focus on this one leaf right here. Not every leaf, just that one leaf. And see how that's a strategy? Hmm. Yeah. You're just going to take this flower on one leaf at a time. One leaf at a time. Well, 
pedal, I guess. You guys remember Shel Silverstein and his poems of Where the Sidewalk Ends? Mm-hmm. How do you eat a whale? Oh. It's true. And then I can come here and get a little bit of white and make some little highlights. I would prefer not to eat a whale. You would? I would yep. also. But, you know, if you were to do it, how would you do it? Hmm. <laughs> I'd do it like a kraken. You'd do it like a kraken? <laughs> In one bite. In one bite. He would kraken it up. All right, so we're coming here, and there's a... If I look at this petal, it's going to come right here. And I'm going to just make sure that we are tucked in. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to stay tucked in. Fuck in. This is really interesting, though. And a little more purple. Though, just processing it through. Yeah, you're just working one little petal. We keep saying leaves. Yes, one little petal at a time. I guess they are technically petals. Well, oh, sometimes maybe. in paintings, we rough in a lot of surface, right? Mm -hmm. And we, we get a lot of stuff done, and then we come in and maybe, you know uh get some more details but this if we just start to paint each individual face we're going to be a little bit happier about what we've got going on and get a better result in our painting yeah again i'm just using this number four i have a number four in my art triple line as well so there's a lot of them that are there now maybe i come right here and i get some of my magenta out and I've got this little leaf that's kind of curled up here so I can come and do some pure magenta talk about that and then if I get a little white on there I can come along this little edge and we can kind of paint in some of that leaf as we're going so you can see we're just working these little spaces and talking about these little colors as we can putting in our colored chrysanthemum i just wiped off my brush with uh my towel and i'm going to get a much lighter color and I'm like let's work in that space so again we're going to just be in our little spaces not stressing ourselves out each leaf one at a time I need more magentas. I'm coming through here to blend. I can do this while everything is wet. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then right here where there's this little transi transition, I can come in and pull some of that dark value up and I can use this wiggling motion to help soften this transitional edge on the petal. And you can see I'm getting little little highlights. Come in and capture a little bit. Come right there. Maybe a little more purple on it. Some white. On this little outer edge, add a highlight. So you've got a lot that you can do as you're going, and it's going to just really, really be able to make itself work. Now, I'm going to move my surface as I need to to always be at the best angle for what I'm doing. And so, and then if I want to do that, then I can move my reference here so that I'm not getting lost. And I'm working on this one right here right now, which is a fairly magenta little leaf. So let's paint the dark value of that leaf, which comes down pretty far. Coming around in here, curling through. If I need a little purple to darken it, I can get that and come in and very easily pull some darker values.
Maybe get a little more purple there because it's got a darker base and leaf next to it. I'm going to rinse out. I'm going to take that mid color and add some white to it. And pull that back. And go ahead and take some of these lighter values, like little streaks or veins, into your leaf. If you've been uh, trying to find a project that's very, very meditative, this type of project is that. As long as you don't get too hard on yourself about your results, you'll be doing okay. Now right here, I'm going to add an even lighter pink. As I see these two edges, they have an, if I get a little yellow into it, I can really pop it. I'm going to come along here and make sure that I've got this lighter, lighter pink streaking down into the a little leaf. I've even got that right here. So again, not working the whole flower this time, am I? Just breaking yeah, down. Yeah, you just sort of go on and a see it goes in just gorgeous. Just goes in beautifully. Let's get this little more purpley one right there. So a little red, a little purple. Go go go. This has got kind of a tuck of a deep shadow right here, so I can pull that in. Play with those deep values underneath there. Maybe even exaggerate them if I need to. The tip, there's a bit of a one that comes down. And then certainly here where the petal is layering and pulling in. And then I just get my white on my brush. And then pull this down. I know flowers can be intimidating for just everybody. You know, if you struggle with them in the past, what I would highly suggest, and I just really want to say this to you guys really strongly, is surround yourself with people that are supportive and believe in your ability to do things. If you have people in your life, uh, maybe they're people you care about, but that they remind you of all your failures, they're constantly kind of like saying, are you sure you can do that? You know, you had trouble last time. What I highly suggest is that for this project, you just kind of curate who you let in and let in those people who are like, you know, I bet you're going to be able to do it this time. You're amazing and you can do anything. I have a really good friend, uh, Tanya. I'm going to shout her out. And I always like talking to her um, because she will always remind me that I can do things. And she doesn't ever like stay like, hey, I think you had a hard time once and mm -hmm. you should be stuck there forever in shame because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you have to surround yourself with people who lift you up, not drag you down. You need to surround yourself with people who are super invested in lifting you up and not dragging you down, not picking at you. And mm -hmm. it's really important, especially when you're trying to grow your art skills, to curate those spaces. I have a lot of friends that are like that. I'm not only shouting out Stephanie as if my other friends are not also pretty terrific and lovely. <laughs> I mean, uh, Tanya and Stephanie are great, but lots and lots and lots. You know, one of the nice things is just John never is like, oh, can you do that? Mm -mm. He's always like, I don't know how we're going to do it. How can I help? And it's really nice because it lets me take risks, even in my own art here teaching live, to say, I think I can teach this. I think I can help people do this. Look at that beautiful petal right there. And I try not to stay like caught in everything that I ever might not have done as perfectly as I could have done. Now, next to it, there's like a little hidden purple, and then we got a bright fuchsia. So let's get our little hidden purple in. And then we'll take a little coffee break, answer any questions, and then continue on our beautiful petal building exercise. Mm, I've been very focused on the camera work today. Uh, you would have to be. This is an involved piece, right? It is. You're doing some fairly detailed brushwork there. I am. And I'm loving it. I'm going to add a little yellow into this now. Just a smidge as I'm moving into this space. Mm. So this, this petal right here, just a little bit of it. See how it's just a little warmer? Yeah. I'm going to turn gonna begin the that. 
Let me turn that a up. Little a little water. Eh, maybe. You know, let's come along here. I see this sort of comes down. And then we'll come up. But yeah, when you're trying to grow your skills, when you're trying to learn how to paint, um, you know, get those you can do it people around you. For sure. Yeah. Because that's what's gonna get you through. Right? That's when it that's what's gonna get you through. Okay, so on this one I've got a little bit of a lighter value here at the tip. Let's talk about a bit. So you've got, seen I've added some white and I'm pulling that down into it. The other reason I'm going petal by petal is it's letting me work wet into wet as I go. I just added some more white. Nope. What does and that mean? So when the paint that you're working into is wet and the paint that you're adding to it is wet, it's called wet into wet or a la prima. And what that lets you do, especially in acrylic paint, is blend much more easily. Because once the paint is dry, you can't really blend in acrylic. Mm. It doesn't want to do that. Doesn't that look amazing back there? It does like to layer, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Layering helps. Um, blending helps. There's these little tools. I'm pulling a darker color in, and I'm pulling in these little veins. Now, one of today's, one of the side I'm going to get a little bit of my coffee and process where I'm at and then continue on my wonderful floral journey that I'm taking with you today. That, by the way, let me be that uplifting person in your life. You can do this. You can absolutely do this. You can do this one petal at a time. Flowers are in you. Smoke is in you. All the art is in you. You can do this for sure. Now, is your coffee over there somewhere? It is. I are think it's still warm, too, barely. Is it? Okay, there you go. We found some coffee. So I even like the petals that I'm already seeing there. Aren't they already just yummy? Mm -hmm. Wonderful? Mm. So how are you guys feeling? They're doing really, really good. Let's take a deep breath. Let it out. Whatever burdens that you're carrying with you from the week, whatever worries or anxieties, while you're painting these colorful, colorful petals, remember to put them down and leave them to the side because you can always pick them up again after you're done painting. Worries are always there waiting for you if you want them. But it's okay to give yourself a couple hour break while you're doing your creative time. Well, it's always nice to see the palette. That's the button. So uh, <laughs> one of the things that I needed to remind everyone is that today's show is also brought to you by Good Form When Painting so you don't create painting injuries, right? Yes. So making sure that you keep good posture <laughs> and your <laughs> arm is in good position <laughs> and you don't overstrain yourself <laughs> while painting. I have a little bit of painting injury. Charlie is reminding me. We're going Self care to, is important. All right, you. All right, we're going to be good. What's next? Put our vision enhancers on and continue to power through our petals. <laughs> power petal painting. Power through our petals. Oh, I've got another nice little pink petal here. Power so pink I'll get my painting. number four round. All right. I'm going to add a lot more white into it. I get a little pink. That's always fun. Get a lot more white. I love pink. Luminous Opera would have been a fun color to pull in on this, but I didn't want everyone to have to run out and get a bunch of paint. We may, we, we may have to do a special Luminous Paint Day where yes. we just, we all get together and loom out. Yeah, we should, we should like turn it into a collab too with some of our friends that like the whole Bond Luminous Paint. Mm. Maybe something with design team. So I've added my little highlights there. Maybe put a little one right there. It's easy to get my darker color. I'm going to come in and get my darker color. I've just wiped off on my towel to offload a little bit of that color. And let's come right here. And then we're going to just pull through. See how we're doing? And it's, it does. It gives you that nice blend, doesn't it? And I'm making sure I'm just painting it all the way through. And you can do that. You can absolutely do that. There you go. Just pay, and you can see that I'm paying attention to the direction of the brush stroke. There we go. You could, uh, this is one of those, this, this, you could do this in a lot of different mediums, couldn't you? 
You could easily do this in almost any medium, I think. Not stained glass. That would be hard. Ooh, well, it would. <laughs> I'm be... getting a little purple into my red to deepen it so I can create some shadows. My experience with stained glass was very bleedy. Mine too. So I'm not saying beautiful things weren't created. I'm just saying I bled I mean, from I don't my heart. feel like I made anything beautiful. I think I just bled. If, unless you considered my blood beautiful. <laughs> I made that cool Nixie clock thing. You did. You made that gorgeous Nixie clock. But again, there was a lot of bleeding on the there Nixie was. clock. There was some fair <laughs> You did good, though. I think probably that's solved by gloves and things. It is, yes. There's some. So, so again, I'm just trying to make a darker value in that petal, inside the tuck of that petal. And then I can always come and get a little more of the white and pink on here and just give my little area an outline. And pull it back in. Just enjoy the creation of what I've got. Oh, there's somebody right here. Yeah. I think I've got somebody right there I've got to add. No, 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 no. Nope, this is the next guy. That's him. Very right. purple. So let's get into our purple, purple. Now, this is a very interesting little shape leaf. I've got lots of little shading and colors to put in to get all the little wrap. The petal itself sort of curves like that. Kind of rolled around itself a bit. Mm. I can begin to talk about that by getting my deep values in. And once they're in, I can get my red and purple going, as is fun. Ouch. Don't know what I just hit. Oh, my water. <laughs> Do you need more water? You no, more water? I mean, I will have to get some soon. And my water's starting to get dirty. So as I change colors into like the reds and yellows, I definitely, definitely would have to uh, change that out. We are water ready. ready this show. Huh? We are water ready this show. We are. You got all the water. Thank you so much for that help. I really. <laughs> you can see I'm just pulling that down there. You know, we're just one petal at a time. Mm -hmm. I It'd like how they just... so cool how when it all comes together. Well, each individual little petal pops in. It does, doesn't it? It does. And then progressively, and they, they just form a build picture. Up. And I'm definitely, definitely not taking in the whole of it because I'm trying to build up small of it mm -hmm. and i'm painting not completely loosely but a little bit you know more tightly and more thought out in that kind of a space so then we have this brighter pink and i'm going to change my water now because we're leaving the purples but i'll keep this around because as i get into purples i can go back into it now my magenta gets a little yellow into it so I pull this over here and I'm warming it with a little bit of the yellow, which is fun. And let's see, there's, there's, okay, so we went here. The next closest one is right there. Coming along. There we go. A little more paint on there. Ooh, that was cool. Mm. The little water drip. Oh, was it? It went wing. Made this really cool little. Oh, well, that's always fun when that happens. I'm, I'm going to go over and look at here. it in a minute. And these guys definitely touch, so I want to make sure these lines can connect. I have this interesting pedal below it I don't want to lose. So I've got to be small, and I've got to think just, just right here. I'm going to show them the cool water thing over there. See the water floating? Ooh, all the cool orange. Oh, yeah, that is cool. That turned out pretty neat. I'm going to add a little white to that. Oh, look, that's a nice little bit of light right. value. All right now, start thinking about that. And I can wipe off and get some just white on there and come in and you know, be very soft and quite brave. That's fun. 
And then I will kind of blend between these two. And you can see that gives it a nice soft transition. Now, sometimes so you the just... The petals are soft. One of the things that's interesting is sometimes you pull your hand away and you don't go get paint. You just look I'm at things. I'm looking. Yeah. So sometimes I, I'm i trying to get over to look at to where your camp, where you're, where you're going to go. My stuff is. But you're not. You're just thinking. I'm going to switch to one like of right my now, brushes and see if I am enjoying that experience. You're looking my at own personal brushes. rounds because I like my own rounds. I'm going to get that on here. Keep going as you do. <sighs> All right, so this fellow right here, it, and it goes quite deep. It right to about here. I'll see if I can. I'm gonna come right here. Oh yeah, I like this better. I like my brush the best. Just a bit. And again, it's real easy to get lost, so I'm going to just go up here, and then I've got to get this little weird one right there before I get too much further in. Twig. She always wants to be at my feet. Just getting a little more water and a little more paint. Covering the canvas. A lot more white. Pulling that in. Have fun. Yeah. Just this petal. Bringing in some darker veins into it, right? Yeah. Yeah, streaking up those darker veins. Maybe a smidge more yellow into the mix. Definitely a lot more white. Then come right here. Make sure that I've got that right here. Coming on that edge. And I think I even need to raise it one value. No. This is really interesting question. a bunch question. more white. Oh, I love interesting questions. I actually like all questions. So while you're painting, and I'll throw this out there. Because I know. I'm just painting these little guys. So it's, it's okay to take questions because there's a lot of the same work. I'm just making sure I have a highlight right here. Hmm. So they question. said, can I flip the picture in picture so it's matching the same way that you're working? Ooh, must yeah. be. Yes, I can. Hold on a second. Let me see what she's you working. You should follow me as I go. I sh well, I should. I was just, I'll, I'll see where, uh, let me see how it's oriented. I think I can. I think that's how it's oriented. Oh, of my right brush. Now. So the, the, yeah, that's, that's correct. Is that? Yeah. Okay. We're moving from these pinky purples to these sort of warm magenta reds into peaches and oranges and then yellows and then greens and blues. We're just going to go around. I think by the end of it, we're going to feel very serene. Okay. May not be a quick process, but it is a fun process. Just putting the paint on. You can see just paying attention to the direction of the color. And then I'm going to get some white. Come oh, there was actually a, petal. there was a question for you, not for me. But, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, th there was a question about an art material that I had never heard of before, okay. but the question. I might have the answer. Maybe well, I've never heard of it too. We'll see. It, actually, Very weird though. <laughs> the question is actually is this art material too good to buy? Oh. All and right. What's the art material? Well, Cause some I, of them, really seriously, I wouldn't, but some of them I would. This was a Cezio 150-piece tracing paper and carbon paper, black graphite transpite papers, and tracing stylus for wood-burning transfer. This is like a... Whew. Yeah, that's a lot. 
Um, if that's not economical or you're not getting that on some kind of crazy sale for what we're doing, I wouldn't do that. Mm. Some things are very specific tools, right? Needed for specific jobs. Yeah. And so therefore they're expensive. Like every once in a while you're running <sighs> to a pencil for like engineering on an oil rig. That's not cheap pencil guys. Mm. Doesn't mean it's your best rendering pencil. It means it's designed for something. It's like, it's like a toilet seat for space. Y'all remember when they would like say, this toilet seat is $900 and we'd all be like, man, I got a toilet seat for $29.99. Right. But really, it was because that toilet seat has to be in zero gravity on a space station and do things like not let the poop escape. It has so, a very yes. special O-ring that protects very special parts. That's right. Don't want your stuff sucked out into the vacuum of space. You need a $900 toilet seat. So sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I mean, space travel. It's what are dangerous. you going to do? Just keep playing with the darks and lights and each little petal, right? And capture each little bit like, ooh, I'm going to be like so light or, oh, no, I'm going to be so dark. So like right here, I want to like make it seem like it's a little bit curled over. I can simply create a little shadow there. I nope. enjoy that process quite a lot. Well, look at that. All curled up. All curled up. Yeah. Ultimately, when it comes to buying art supplies, though, it's about respecting your budget. Ultimately, yes. It is always about respecting your budget. I'm getting a little more of my magenta. You know, so, you have a budget. Yeah. So Nothing feeling- wrong with anybody's budget. We all have a budget. Um, but even so, like I gold leaf, but I'm not going to get real 24 karat gold leaf. That's crazy. I'm mm-hmm. not doing anything that requires it. But you know, if somebody like Kellogg loops wanted to do that because like, you know, his paintings are going for like a high price point. He's known for leafing and he wants to elevate the work into maybe more of a gallery status. Right. So he might pick something that's like, Ooh, that's like really, really like very pricey, you know? And keep going, filling that in. So I just, again, like to look and see where I'm at. And then work each petal. And I'm going to take a little break and heat my coffee. And you guys are going to stretch because we are really working here. Mm-hmm. If you're like going, man, I feel like we're really working today. Yeah, you are. You're really working today. Really, really. Coming forward with this nice, lovely light pink. See how we're doing? And then along there. And then, you know, maybe grabbing a little bit more of that. And just coming along that little petal edge. See, so what I'm doing really essentially here is Folding that petal over by value. You know, so I've got a nice little petal fold there. And, you know, I'm just trying to tell that little petal fold story. And you can see why I didn't put out every color that I had, because until I get into those colors, I'm just going to be letting them dry on the palette. Give me a little more magenta. It's okay that it got dark because, you know, shading is always your friend. Maybe I'll put some of that dark value right there. Now I've got a really folded little petal. It's quite delicate and quite pretty and quite interesting. No. So we're coming, you're just, we're just kind of working our way forward. It's like quite a thing, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, so. This guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm doing is I'm like making sure I'm not getting lost within the painting. I've taken a little yellow into my magenta, warm it up, and add some white. I'm going to come right here and let's get that shadow value in. Right? We're not going to get overwhelmed. Just one petal at a time. Work it out. One piece at a time. Whatever you're doing in your painting, 
if you get frustrated and you rush or you panic or you just let yourself get overwhelmed and you don't slow down, it can start to undermine your ability to paint at your highest level. But if you just take your minute, you see me adding yellows every once in a while. And just paint each piece as it is. You'll get each petal, and when it's all done, you will have a beautiful, insane flower that no one will believe that you did. Except you did do it, and they have to believe you. Because <laughs> <laughs> who else did it but you? <laughs> all right. And this is what three hoot classes are for is like enjoying these little moments. I'm right here, about even a little more white to it. Maybe hopefully a little value up. We'll see. And then I've got a little fold there. Once I get that little fold there, I'm going to come in and get a little bit of my dark magenta value that's got a little mix of that purple in there. And I'm going to come down at the base. And that, and just enjoy painting those little flowery spaces. Oh, fellow over here, we got to deal with. And it's very important to make sure that you are keeping those little shadows going. I'm adding a little shadow value because I got. So that each petal as it comes through is reflecting that. So I've got that sharp little value in there, right? I'm rinsing out just to make sure that I've got some control. I'll get this magenta, right? And then I'm going to come here. Blending back into this. That was the magenta with a little bit of the yellow. You know, and then I've got an interesting little curl here I've got to, got to deal with, which has gone more into the purple magenta. And I'm going to come here and talk about that a little bit. And then I can always go right into my white. Yeah, that little petal's dressed. So pulling it through, pulling it through. Boom, boom. Right there. Just enjoying. What I got going on. I think I'll start this down. That's pretty dark. So let's come down to this is curled over. And we have another one here. Curled over. So this is this and then there's this one. Okay, so this one should I have a little pointed one that's here. Yep. Just pulling this up. So see, it's very good to just slow it down. Coming through with the purple. There you go, coming through with the purple. Now I want to grab a little of my magenta and a little purple for deep color. Grab a little of my 
highlights. Pulling this down gently. There we go. We'll rinse out thoroughly. Take we'll a, go right I'm, here. Yeah, I'm going to back up. Just take a quick look at this so for everybody here. Oh, yeah, I'd like to. Let me see here. There it goes. Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's, uh, yeah. let's put this like it would go. And we That's here. where take we are. I could heat up my coffee while y'all are taking a look. Are you? You're going to yeah. dash off for a second? Yeah. And you guys take a little look and get into it and look around and everybody take a little minute. I'll mute you. For well-being. Okay. I think she's muted. And so, yep, she is. So while she's muted, I'm going to say thank you guys for coming hanging out. You know, it's uh, quite, quite a day. Actually, I'm going to come over here to the main screen. Let me see if I can do that. Ding. Look at that. See, I can look over there. We'll go over to the main screen and we'll get a little zoo up. You don't want to do that. You speed that. Look at that. You look at that. It's her easel. <laughs> so we're going to zoom in. Shh. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. We can see it from the front. So that is the thing that she's painting today. I forget what it's called. A chrysanthemum? I think it's called a chrysanthemum. I'm, I have a not green thumb. It's some other color. Probably semi-dirty from working on cars. Not green. So, as I sort of blather on, I'm glad you had a chance to take a look at this. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, she's back. There she is. Let me see here. Do, do, do. There she is. Hello. Hi. She snuck <laughs> back in. Don't, don't, don't. Get the hot coffee. So, on long projects like this, it's important to give yourself mental breaks because you'll get kind of blind to the project. It's just each pedal starts to flow into another pedal, and you're going to need to stretch, and you're going to need to do it. Um, I think as long as you're managing your expectations of how you expect something like this to go, you'll get through it really easily. But if you try to rush yourself or put pressure on yourself or overwhelm yourself or take it beyond the current pedal that you're working into, you'll lose it. But if you can just stay drilled into it, you can keep it there. A lot of times as a teacher, I feel like a lot of pressure to move along quickly because of, you know, YouTube. So it's easy for me to let it get away from me. So like I have to remember to like, Breathe it in, breathe it out, and let it be inside me for a minute. You know, mentally, just like let it process, let it percolate like mm. coffee. Coffee is life. I, I'm, I'm, it's too late in the day for me to have any coffee. Is it? Yeah. This is not Ooh. necessary for art that in is any way. I could have one of those. You do not. And also keep your smarties out of your paint. <laughs> I would, I would like one of those. Can you I have one? a smart? No, I'm okay. I had like a whole bunch. This is the no. tropical one. I'm good. Okay. You know, just... see sustenance. Little trail mix is good. <laughs> that little smarty mix. <laughs> so, is your arm doing okay? My arm's doing okay. It's warming up. The towel's working, and I'm just kind of like relaxing myself into it. I think I'm all right. It's a big project. I'm like, how do I take on these big projects? I love to. I love to share with you that you can do this. And also, sometimes I just like to paint a thing. Yeah. I think, oh, that'll be fun to paint. And it is. Make sure I don't have any uh, cadmium on my hands, and then I'll eat. I think I need to put out a little more of my magenta. Now, are you going to keep this orientation? I am going to go back to where I was on the weird turn okay. on the vertical Shoot. as I'm coming around. Then we will. I'm going to come kind of back button. out here. And I think I will like get these outer petals and then kind of come in radially again. So I'm not getting so overwhelmed by the whole process. So like out here, this petal is a little easier to understand this purple petal and his pink friends. So sometimes it's nice to go out where they're big. And their shapes are not overwhelming because you get in the center, if you'll notice, they start to curl and they become much more complicated in their relationship to each other. Mm. Like out here, they're very simple in their relationship to each other. And here they become very complicated. So my strategy for not getting overwhelmed will be to head back out into the outer reaches of the flower before coming back into the vent horizon of the flower. Now, if you were just... Uh just going at this painting mm -hmm. would you have drawn in these flower petals or would you have just 
Oh, raw. I would have drawn in these flower petals. Oh, you, you wouldn't just yeah. raw go at it? No. If I were painting very loose and expressively like Nancy Medina, it's appropriate to just go at it, right? Now, her, her, her flowers look super realistic. I'm not saying they don't. But what I'm saying is she's a very expressive style of doing them. Yeah, uh, but if, if you look at botanical artists, artists that specialize in botanical work, they will render their pieces in and work methodically. And, you know, if you've painted, drawn, or rendered something a hundred times, you kind of start to know it backwards and forwards. Right, yeah. So it's different for someone who's painted something or drawn something or done something many, 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 many times. Very different. Very, very different. All right, here we go. Still working along. I'm going to have to probably get a new... My palette be so dirty. <laughs> we have to have Coming a Coming along here with an outer edge that's lighter. The paint isn't flowing nicely, so I'm going to reload. You know, and it's just a matter of just making sure I'm coming along and pulling my little values. You got to know you have value. Yes, you do. Right pink one right here. Very interesting how the, um, the photoshopping of this colored it. A lot of people speculated that it was actually, um, I, I mean, maybe they did the thing where they cut the stem and they did die, but I'm going to suspect looking at it that this is a digital manipulation. Yeah. I'm guessing this has been shopped. That's my, that's my feeling. <laughs> digital yeah. manipulation. I just wiped off my brush because I felt like I had too much paint on it and I wasn't getting the control I wanted. Back I've, to I've seen some dyed flowers. They're cool. They're not that cool. Yeah. That's kind of how I'm feeling. But, you know. I mean, this would be the coolest dyed flower I had ever seen. Like ever. Like an award-winning one. In your life, right? Yeah. Like the highest example of that art farm. Ever. <laughs> Which I'm not saying. I mean, that's cool and all. There may be some like stuff like that but that's i just grabbed some light so i can kind of add that value change into that flower fun to do and just grab some purple for this little guy right here i'm just trying to make sure i'm sort of following the pattern of color as it goes through we've got this nice big pink one right here and then another little purple there. So I might grab this sort of like pink purple one while I'm at it. That filled in. And it's highlight on. Just keep working as we go. I'll grab a little bit of white. And a little bit of highlight. Along that little edge with one as well. That's fun. Isn't that entertaining? Yeah. So again, I'm going to grab some magenta over here and a little of my yellow. And I like to mix these together. They get quite bright. I'll grab some of my white to reveal awesomeness. Awesome. And let's paint this big one right here. Now. You're kind of standing back a little bit there with your brush. Well, I am. I am trying to do every strategy I have to not get lost in the pattern. And then also to take care of my shoulder and arm. Mm. Um, Just taking a look at how you're using that. Yeah. A little different. Just they were curious how in. you're using your hand to keep that positioning. A little more. Put some darker color and all. Just fun to take that deeper value. Brush that up. Oh, looks pretty good. I like it. 
I may need to put out my my whites getting a little bit kind of worked and dirty here as you can see so I'm gonna get some clear space on it put out a little more of my magenta my fuchsia my quadacridone fuchsia which is quadacridone magenta tell you how I know is it is pigment PR 122 I'm tricky like that just working my yellow and my quin and I come right here and put in this little flower petal Right, that one's pretty good. I've got another one kind of like that back here. I'll add a little white to it, but I do have that one back there. And it's pretty big. Fill that all in. You're doing so great, John. Thank you. What do you mean? And then as, as soon as I um, maybe get this one in, then I'm going to paint the background. Well, the thing is, I got to pace myself. Get so excited. This one is a little bit more pink. I'm going to get more into that. It's a fun color. I'm going to paint that deeper value right here. Down that center. You can see I'm working from the pinks mixed with the purple to the pinks mixed with the yellows. And pretty soon I'm going to start to get my um, cad reds into it, I think. Maybe that's something I can start putting out now as another way to get some different sort of effects between the magentas and I put my blue out and I haven't used any blue but that's okay because I'm going to use it on the background just a second oh there we go isn't that wonderful yeah playing hardball right here now there are you resting Am I you're resting not resting one? your hand on the surface at all are you sometimes Sometimes you're using it as a brace? Yes, yeah, sometimes I will use it as a brace. I've just added some white to my brush, worked it in, dipping in water. I'm going to come give myself like maybe like a little outer area here. Push that in. Coming along here. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? I'm not looking for affirmation. I'm just personally excited <laughs> when certain things happen. It's totally okay. You don't need to reassure me that it's good. Oh, no, I'm, I'm uh, not. I'm just, you know, half the time, just because, and you know this from our marriage, right? I'm multitasking over here. I'm switching cameras. I'm reading chat. I'm answering questions. And you're like, does this look good? I look over and go, yeah, yeah, no, it does. I'll tell you if it does. Or if I'm like, something looks weird, I'll tell you. But Half the time, you're like, does this look okay? I'm just looking over going, yep. yeah, that's It's all good. <laughs> it's not on fire. <laughs> well, that's a whole different problem. That would be more exciting than the spider in the studio, wouldn't it? Hmm. And also not a good reason to go viral on YouTube. I oh, would like to go viral. I wish to go viral, but for doing good work that people enjoy. If I thought surprise studio fire would make us go viral, guess what we would have? No, we would not. That's dangerous. We would never that's have That's probably it. true. We would not. That might. Mm. And that you know that because we haven't just started a random fight with a <laughs> random stranger, <laughs> which seems to be a very popular method of, of getting by. So now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pull my black out. I'm going to use my blue and my black together up here to do this background. And I might go ahead and get into a slightly bigger brush. Maybe I'll get back into this number eight. Just because it's a nice big size. And I'm going to mix the black and the blue together. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint this background with this dark, dark color. Oh. I don't just do just black because I personally find that the addition of the blue 
is super duper. I'm going to move this so I have an easier time getting to it. Everything along these that's white is now going to be this dark color. Hmm. Uh -oh. Too much water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and say no. <laughs> that happens sometimes. There we go. A little bit there. Little bit on the toe around these delicate edges, right? Oh. So. Just painting that all in with a nice dark color. And where the petals might have a little bit of the background shine through. It's real easy to bring it through. You guys doing okay? Yeah, so there was some question as to right there. That's good. Mm. Um, there, Every once in a while, you use the palm of your hand as a brace. Yes. And that's, that, I think that's what they they were just. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a makeshift bridge. So traditionally, an easel, an artist might use a mall stick, which is this with a stuffed sock at the end of it you can buy a pricey version of it and they would put it here and they would steady their hand especially portrait painters people that have to do precision work mm. um but you could use you know the surface where it's dry where you're not going to be dragging paint as a rest as well And sometimes it's just relaxing and nice to paint in areas like this. Yeah. Oh, there's so much flower to paint. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get it. Hmm. And we're not just going to get it. We're going to get it where we like it even more than the photograph. That's the big deal. You want to like your painting more than the photograph. I'm going to move this again to upwards. That has, I have nice control over what I'm doing. You moved. Yeah. I, gotta move. I just got a little got bit left, and then that's that whole area with that dark background. There it is. I found Right here. Very carefully around what I painted on the toe of my brush. And this value between the flower and this dark background is also going to help it really pop. Yeah, it is. Super pop. Super poppy. And at this stage, I'm going to look for little areas where maybe, you know, the paint didn't cover because you want it really covered. It's okay to be careful. Oh, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And breathe out. Take paint around the flower. It's a good time to answer questions if anybody has one. I had, I saw, like, in the traceable, a lot of questions. Hmm. I am jumping around here. Let's see here. I'm going to sip my coffee as soon as I get now, to the end of this in celebration. Sherry was asking, could you underpaint this dark blue on the whole canvas? Nope. No? No. Not on the rainbow ones. Because it would make it difficult for There's the pinks whole, and the... Yeah, a bunch of the colors wouldn't be bright. You could do it if that if it was a if it was all cool colors with the blue base, you could easily do that. 
Mm. But if you have a variety of colors as you do in a rainbow, you know, you've got to make sure that you have a white base. Otherwise, some of the colors will not showcase the way you would want. Let's take a look at that. Get, I'm going to grab a, while you've got my palette on blast here, I'm going to grab another thing of water. Okay, too. cool. And then, um, do, do, do. I'm probably need two more by the end. You know what I'm saying? You just might. Yeah. It's always important to get uh, clean water because the pigment can really load. Oh, let's look at that. That's just gorgeous. It's turning out really nice. Um, it, the, pig, the pigment can tint everything on your, on your thing. And, oh, yeah. There you go. There, there you go. How are you guys doing? Good? <laughs> Good? Doing all right? How's it going? You can do it. Yeah. You may be like in here going, there's a lot of pink flowers. Mm. Uh, petals just everywhere. Seemed like a good idea. Now I'm in it. And now I don't know. You can do it. You're painting. You, got it. you can do this. We can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Yeah. Right? That's the thing to know. If I can do this, you can do this. Mm. All right. I admit I'm an awesome person, but I'm not the only person in the universe that can paint. Do we have any questions before I get on to my next question? We session? have lots of questions. And so they would like to know, did you know that you have over, you almost 400 people here? It's like over 300 some people watching. They're all hanging out here. Being... All 400 of you do this painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you kicking. No, did just you... watching. No, I'm just did, kidding. Did you, you don't have to cookies? log out. Did you sneak cookies on me? Okay. So um, question, 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 question. Mm -hmm. could, uh, it, could you paint this on a black canvas? Same thing. It wouldn't work, would it? It would be harder. You'd have to use really quality paints. You'd have to use one of my recommended brands of paint. Mm. And, and it would not be friendly to student paints at all. Yeah. And I really only have two brands of student paints I even recommend. But even those who I think are fairly quality, I wouldn't do over a black canvas like this. this would be, that would be really tough. If you want the yellow. So you'd be okay over here. But here it would be a hot, not fun mess. In gotcha. the yellows, not fun mess. Okay. All right. Well, look. We'll We're get, doing get... surprisingly well. If we can get around this ridge, this center will shockingly come together really, really, really well. Well, I'm excited to see this stuff. So he's like, "You got to move on, girl." Well, no, but <laughs> you don't. You can stay and talk all you like. He's like, "But you know, it's five hours later. We got to go feed the kids." <laughs> but yeah, this painting isn't going to paint itself. Really. Because there's a robot now that paints paintings, so maybe it will. Maybe there is no need for the Sherpa anymore. Uh, I've, I've been doing that research. They're more problematic than you think. Are they more? Pro that's almost a relief. I have to tell you, that's almost a relief for me because, like, all right, so we're going to do this big one here, which is this group right there. Okay. I'll bring the picture and picture back. Shush. A little of the quinacridone and that. Let's grab some yellow. I'm right here. Now, you have that mixed on the brush. It's yeah, not, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's not blend. It, you didn't blend it down so that it was all even. You let it night. Gotta let it. Gotta let it. Die. It was all kind of splotchy on the brush. Yeah, you gotta. Let it be on the brush a little bit. So I'm just taking those light values and I'm working them out. I need a little more water on my brush. So I get it. Go back here. Oh, I put my glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Hmm. I mean, I can see, but it, here's the thing. When you're painting for long periods of time, if your eyes fatigue or you need any help, it's just not a good thing to uh, struggle through. We had a really good friend who was a tremendous painter, and I will never forget I found her painting in the dark. And I just can't imagine how exhausting dark? that would be to your eyes. She was just so into the moment, so into the painting that she just forgot to turn on the lights. Her eyes were real tired for the next few days, and that's where that comes from, you know? I get a little of my quinacridone and some of my CAD. Look at those together. Aren't they just amazing? Just coming through here, painting this gorgeous little flower. Oh, still just doing that. Enjoying yourself. Having some fun. Just grab some magenta and I'll come down here.
think it probably took just as long to digitally color this, this flower as it is to take to paint it. Digital artwork is still artwork. Yep, it's true. Not necessarily any easier. It's just a different set of tools. Actually, I was just talking about that in chat earlier. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's funny because, uh, you know, digital art, I was, I was actually making the analogy that digital art uh, and painting, you know, if someone said, hey, get with the times, you should be painting with digital art, you know, mm -hmm. it's sort of like saying to... Well, they did, didn't they, once? Well... So, we somebody did that say that to time. you, and we thought that was kind of funny. But um, uh, they, I, I was told painting is over. Yeah, we we were told painting is dead on YouTube, and nobody wants to see traditional painting lessons. So, if anyone tells you you should get with the time and start <laughs> using some digital painting methods, you would be in good company here. <laughs> you would definitely see that. Now I went more and I added some yellow into this red. And uh, this, I've got the cad red and the magenta and a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to grab quite a lot of white. This is going to give me a peach. And I've done this little dark petal here. And I'm going to... Oh, no, not there. I did that. With you. So again, just trying not to get lost. Yep. Oh, yeah. So I was using that analogy that, uh, you know, if you're, you know, if you're a traditional painter, you know, uh, it'd be, it'd be like telling a motorcyclist to go right, get with the times and go ride a car. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they'll both get you there. They both get you to the same destination, but the experience for the rider is a lot different. You know? Yes, I do know. That was my analogy. That's a good analogy. I'm just thinking. I know you're thinking. That's why I was just talking while you were thinking. I was filling you're the void. You're just talking while I was thinking. What you thinking about, though? I'm thinking about this pedal and this pedal and then its little friend pedal right here. You may add a, another friend pedal. Right, yeah. Sometimes Sherpa gets into painting thought. I do, but that's why it's great that you're here because you'll get into some of the other thoughts that we're having. I and make I, all that work. I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck another little little friend right there. But see most my little brush and come right here and maybe add a little dark value that happens right there. And then just take that in and work them all together. Yeah, unfortunately she also works with her husband. So what happens is when she goes into deep thought mode. I go into heck a wife mode. Heck a wife mode. Nobody heck. needs to heckle no wife. Nobody heck. needs to heckle no wife. We got we got to keep it lively up in here. I don't know. I can keep it lively, but don't heckle your wife. <laughs> I've added my quinacridone and my white, and we're going to get into some distinctly peach petals right now. Need this one in. There we go. Isn't that nice? I like that distinctly peach color. Mm-hmm. We'll add a bunch of white, white to it. Come on this little outside edge. A little more of that white. That's a really nice orange. And it? it just peach. a peach, yeah. It peach. I guess it appears more fiery because it's close to the other reds. It might, yeah. That might be it. I'm adding a little bit of white to highlight this little edge. I'm also gonna pick a little bit right here. Little peach. Little peach. And then you can always get a little pink in your peach. <laughs> you can't. Just get a little pink in your peach, right? Sure. All right, there we go. Peach. That one. And there's this one. And again, it's about keeping those little petals in my mind. Mm -hmm. What am I working on? What am I doing? 
Don't get stressed. Don't get lost. You disappeared for a moment. Sorry. I can get a little more of that. And just make sure that these kind of come around into the space. A little darker. There we go. You just you're just like, oh, what's there? And then you're like, oh, you're there. That's still going. <sighs> now I'm gonna go like this so I can keep working what I can actually see. So I know that I've got how to kind of sketch that in so I don't lose it. So there's this little flower here and its little friend next to it is right. Sherpets are there. rallying behind you. Sher Sherpet Sherry, she's like, you need to be using some K-tape on that shoulder. Oh, yeah, I do, man. How do you use that stuff? I'm so confused by that whole K-tape thing. You're going to figure it out because she's, she, I think that she made sure you're getting some at the P.O. box. So we're going to go check it out. Oh, wow. Thank you. I was watching it. I've been watching Bosch on Netflix and because um, there's a lot of seasons of it and I'm out of a lot of my shows. What I'm doing here is I'm just sort of drawing in some of my lines where I'm having a little trouble tracking. that I don't get completely lost. Because it's easy to get completely and utterly lost mm. in this mug. Let me tell you. Where did that? I know I have one. What are you looking Where's for? Quinacri. Oh. I didn't walk off it's with it. It's a runaway it, magenta. There it is. Runaway magenta. Magenta. How, how big are those where tubes? where it's supposed to go. Those tubes you're using, how big are those? Uh, these, are, and actually they're really economical. I was really surprised. They're two ounces, 60 milliliters. Um, I put them in the affiliate links. I've actually changed all my affiliate links because I looked at the prices and I was like, wow, those were competitive. They're, I think they're a little down from some of the other ones. So yeah, not good, student good. prices, but checking it out. you didn't need to, you know, not such a painful price. I don't know. It depends. Mm. <laughs> depends on how you're feeling that day. Could be painful. Could be painful. A bunch of white into that, and I'm gonna come right here. Just start painting this in. Just letting that come out. Isn't that fun? I love just watching that paint go out, and the colors are so great. So great. All right. So when I have that there, I'm now going to get right into my Quinn. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to make sure that I am highlighting the values as they need to be. Sometimes you just got to highlight the values. As you're painting each little petal coming out. Should we get a little pain in here? That petal is yellow. Handle that. I'm just taking some of these little dark values, pulling them back in. Maybe right down to here. And that's fun. So again, let's get peachy. Let's get peachy now. Peachy now. Come on, let's get peachy now. We're going to go peachy now. Peach is such a wonderful color. It is. It's a very nice color. It is. I really like it. I've got the peach here. 
and then maybe on the inside here. And then we're going to pull some peach up right that. Right, so we're coming down into the depth, the depths of the peachy peach. Now I have that, I'm going to wipe off my brush, I'm going to get a lot of white, but I haven't taken the pigment out, right? Might even get a little more yellow into it, see? Like you do. Like you do. Like we all do, because we paint together. Well, I watch. And I'm going to pull a highlight at the tip of that petal, and then bring it down here a couple places. And then also maybe a few here. I like to think of myself as a power lurker. Power lurker? Well, I got Do these something. cameras. So <laughs> I'm sort of power lurking. I'm going to grab some of my darker values. I'm going to come here. And... Oh, did I have to flip the reference photo again? I think some. Oh, no. Let me look at Which is why I highly Do recommend yes. they print it out. The I got a version. Photo. <laughs> if you can. Look at that. Or pull it up on your phone, you know, wherever you, wherever you save, your, uh, save your stuff. That way? That way. Okay. Hold on. Let me get this right, guys. Sorry. There we go. That's it. I'm going to just do a nice little blend here. Sorry about that, guys. Had it right the right direction now. A little more white here and there. A couple places to make some interesting shapes. There we go. We're doing good, aren't we? Ah, oh, getting into you're almost some halfway. interesting yellows, huh? So you're almost halfway. I think so. I think we're almost halfway. I've got a little orange, orange into that yellow, and I'm going to come right here. And this is a nice big petal. There's a lot of interesting things going on. And it's in the yellows that you're like, oh, yeah, you have to be really careful on a painting like this because as soon as you get to the yellows, what do you have? You know, and then you've got to really be thinking about it. I'm going to pull some highlights down into it. I may have to let it dry. And to that end, I'll grab a lot of white. And I'll cut through the top of that petal. No. A lot, a lot. Pull that down here. And I think that needs like a little more dark to it, so I'm going to grab a little of this right here. Keep working it. You know, you got to work it. Yes. Just working it. We'll put a nice little darker value right there. And then we're going to take a deep breath. Whew, get a little more white. Paint the top of this little fellow. This is a curved over petal. Curved over petals are always fun. I'm going to make sure my brush stroke kind of talks about that curve. See how we're doing? I'm going to get more into that. Get water if you need it. Painting around the shapes, making nice lines. How are you guys doing? Good. Really good. I am watching the this peachy, orangey, awesome, it, you know, it's kind of a sherbet meets push pop meets fantastic orange explosion of flower. I picked another little color there, so we're just working these values, right? I hope that wasn't a... Bad description. 
I don't just, think so. I think you're doing great, babe. I like push pops. I also like push pops. What like can I say? Pop? You don't like a push pop? I like I orange push say. pops, and I cannot lie. All right. So uh, we're gonna take a we're gonna take it in for a second. Mm. Process it. We're making it. We're doing it. Oh, look at that. <sighs> That's so good. Sometimes it's a little work, but is it worth it? I it, think it is. I, I'm surprised. Like it, I didn't think that it would just sort of evolve like that, but it really has. Just, you just got to come around. I didn't yes. think we were going to go from one side. Every once in a while, I like to challenge the heck out of myself. Mm. So I'm also a little surprised that you're actually, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're an hour and 25 minutes in. So Really? Yeah. Not doing too oh, bad. Oh, wow. We are actually doing okay. Yeah. I think that this is. This is not going to be too terribly long. Don't, I don't, don't, don't like, you know. Don't curse it. Right. Seriously, don't. Don't, don't bless <laughs> it with the Sherpa. The, may you have a long and interesting lesson. No, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the ancient Sherpa blessing. Yeah. May you have a long and interesting lesson. <laughs> may you have something. <laughs> Something. Uh -huh. I just put that there. And so, next paddle, I think I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to get a little bit of my yellow and quite a lot of my white. This one here, and then a little friend back here. There we go. In that right there, that sort of light color. But I've got to make it a darker value, so I'm going to grab a little of my black and green, and my black and blue, and I'm going to make this sort of darker gray color. I'm going to go zoom in on that color you mixed a little more. So I grabbed a little of this black and blue, and I have my yellow on there, and I mixed it right there. Yeah. That's going to be kind of like a little little shadow value that I'm going to be playing with over here. As that turns the corner from lemon to technicolor green. Mm-hmm. As it's turning, so I've got to get some of these little values in. I'm just making sure that we're flowing out as we should. And actually, even this right here, this gets to be right here at the corner. There we go. Isn't that a neat color? Just taking that part in. Some of that here and there a little bit. And when you have it there a little bit, you can come back with a stronger version of your yellow. A little. I'm gonna pull in some of those little leaf directions. Can you see those? Yeah, I can. Just works out really well, doesn't it? So this is our shadow of our yellow in the leaves. And then this one here has quite a deep version of that shadow. And then an even deeper version that we'll have to paint in. Coming around here. Whenever I've got to get it, I get just a little of the black and the blue, and I come right there, see, and I can get a deeper shadow. I can come around between the petal forms. And even deepen some of these. The shadow. Rinsey, rinsey, rinse. A little bit of this outer ridge. Brighter still than what's near it. And then once I have that, I'm going to get just white. 
Look at that, we just blend that right in. Catching that highlight, making that yum yum. Doing good. Yeah. Now we're into the yellow. Gonna rotate Let go, again. I may rotate. <laughs> All right. So this time I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate with you. So we're here. I'm gonna go. Doo, 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 doo. And that's if the rotation actually helps me because sometimes you know I've got to really look at it. Is this rotation helping me see my shape and form? If it is, then I keep it. If it's not, then I gotta let it go. Am I just yellow on there? Oh, there we go. Pedal rotation. Trying to keep it getting away from me, you know? Keep it from getting away from me. Am I white? Oh, there's that right there. The outside of this petal. I'm going to get some right here. This. This is right here. At the top. See that? So right here. We're still going. I like that. I like that. Right on the outside edge. And maybe pure yellow right there. Caught that little petal. This little fun one is actually pretty green. I can actually come right here. And just grab that green. See how we're doing those strokes? And we're always still paying attention to the direction of the pedal, aren't we? Mm hmm We have that. You can grab a little more green onto it, a little more yellow. Pulling that light aspect down a little more. These greens are going in a lot faster. Yeah, they're a little, you know, it's interesting what, what's harder and what's easier. It's, it's, it's funny because it's like it's accelerating as it's going around the spectrum. It is. You're building up pedal power. It's turning so entertained by that pedal potential. I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to come right here. Carving that little bit of green. And then we're going to get right back into our yellow, like really hot and heavy. Pull that dark value between. I get that. I'm gonna get just a lot of white on there. Look at that. Making noise, right? Get a good swish. Get a good swish. Get your swish on. Swish is very important. You move over so you can get other parts so of the I'm palette. I'm just getting some of my 
yellow here and I've got this sort of curled up petal. Enjoying that. We'll get some white onto it. We'll come right there, blending around. Also, maybe right there. And then I'll grab some of this yellow from right there. Where there's a bit of a green to it. And you see that? Yeah. So we are cooking it. Yeah. I mean, we still got to get in this little center, but once we make it all the way around, we are nearly there, right? Yeah. Let's get into this one. This has got some green and some yellow. Let's enjoy it. Even a little blue into that. Enjoy. Everybody doing okay? Breathing in, breathing out? Yeah, I think so. It was really interesting. I was just sort of chatting here with people in chat. It was typing in chat. Typing the, uh, chat. So they were asking, there was a uh, Lily, I think it was Lily? I'll go back. Yeah, Lillian was asking, uh, how many times do you typically paint these before you do them? Yes, I have not rehearsed. I'm doing this for the first time right now. Yeah. And I was in a lot of times I will prep something up but this is not one of those times and yeah it was a uh, in in this case you just sort of knew what you were needing to do yeah i had a plan and i had a feeling about where i wanted to go i grab some more white right here as i come around this part of the battle and so i i and i've done projects sort of similar to this so i kind of understood yeah this was for... Honestly, I didn't think I had painting this twice in me. <laughs> there's, there's... There's, you guys get one. <laughs> I'm going to grab a lot more white on this particular story. One. <laughs> That's one of the interesting things that I think most folks don't know is this really isn't necessarily your art style. Mm -mm. This You do enjoy painting this. I and, do. And, but your artistic pursuits tend to bring you to other destinations. Yep. I have other things I'm up to. I'm just painting some of these distant uh, little petals that we've got going right here that are maybe not as in detailed and layered over in the back. Yeah. And I'm using value to get that done. And as I go, let's, I'm going to give it a look. I almost need another cup of coffee. Mm. You guys might need another, but let's really look at that. Let's talk about where we're at. So, <laughs> it's so good. It's looking really good. You know, I mean, I think this is emotionally the painting everybody had in their heart. Sometimes there's a painting that you have in your heart when you see a photo. And uh, sometimes I will be like trying to teach you guys expressive painting or simplification or different techniques. And I think for this one, based on the feedback I was getting since I put it up, that this was the painting that you were wanting to do from this image. Like, you know, uh, you wanted to catch the details. You wanted to be able to get all of the fiddly bits and elements of the little petals from each other and have a painting you were super excited about. So mm. I think we're nailing that at least as we go. Well. Coffee, if, coffee, coffee. If you wanted to, we could, uh, I think Do, we could take a break. A, they could get three minute break. Would you? Okay. So everyone take a minute. If you've been sitting with me this whole time, powering through, you know, stand up, walk around a little bit, use restroom, get water, move your neck. I'll put the intermission up. Get fresh palettes, which I think I'm going to do. <laughs> and then we're going to see you guys. Palette. I'll be back in a minute. You'll see the little, the little thing. Up. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why 
That's not working out really great, is it, guys? That's all giving us all sort of meow, bad sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind that do, 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 to this over here. See, it's not working real well. So I'm not sure why it's not working well. We're going to give it a minute. So while Cinnamon's getting her, uh, her, 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 I'm going to come back over here real quick just so you're not looking at a screen. Let me give you something to look at. Let me give you do do do. Let me give you some intermission, intermission stuff. We're gonna come over here now. Let me get this up here just so that you guys can see what's going on while I'm figuring out why that uh, intermission thing went wrong. I kind of have an idea, but I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put this up nice and tight so you guys can see what's going on. And do do do. Yeah, see there it is. Now I think that if I were to look over here and find out what's going on that the oh that's the wrong button not that one you don't want me to do that so yes i do make sound effects because they came with the operating system um i was just sort of born this way so uh you know it happens oh there it is the video i was looking for so i'm going to move it right over here and i think cinema may be coming back you're still, there's no, there's, <laughs> it's not, you're, 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 uh, I'm, my, my three minute thing didn't work. So it's, I'm still working over here and chat with everybody while I'm getting it loaded up and fixed because that's what I was in the middle of doing. And everyone's hanging out here being very chill while I'm working this out. But, uh, I think I've got it now. And, Somewhere that that's it. Do, do, do. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna try again. See if this works. Hey, it is. It's working. It's playing normal. Look at that. Okay, she's back, and we don't need that though. Okay, not back. Okay, so so she's taking my ear. So I am gonna leave this up. We're gonna leave this run. Okay, no more. So, all right. This is clearly a professional show. So, I'm going to leave you guys with this. See if you can... See if there's a theme happening here. All right, we'll be
I'm officially back now. <laughs> <laughs> I have my coffee. I've had my little intermission. I may have to do something about this is pushing on a presser point. And I've got a, you've got marathon things. You've got to keep yourself comfortable. I love it, but I got it squished weird. How are you guys doing? Hmm? Did you stretch? Did you self care? Because it takes a minute when you do these long painting things. Um, especially as many of you like to sit in the chair and paint in your lap, you're, ba- you're bending your back in a rough way, or maybe you're over a kitchen table, you know, and you just got to think about what that's like in an extended way so that you're not, you know, wearing your muscles out. Because you want to be able to paint like every day, right? Hmm. How <sighs> proud are we of this painting? I love it. I think it's pretty great. <laughs> I think it is too. I think we can keep powering through. Yes. So right here, we have another nice little sort of uh, yellowy uh, leaf that's got a bit of the orange. I put out cad red light. This time, you could keep using your cad red medium. Yeah. I'm putting out my little cad red light, and I'm going to come right here, and we're just going to outline a little bit with that and then showcase maybe some of this inside petal shape. I think I'm going to go ahead and come here and inside. So what, what I'm trying to do is show the pocket of shadow and light that happens as these petals curl over. Now that I have that, I'm going to grab some just yellow. And I'm going to bring that over. And you can see I'm now, when, this is what I mean, the direction of the petals growth. So since it's curled, my brush stroke oh. has to Curl with the direction. So we gotta go. Let me see if we're we gotta see if we're right. And then right here, maybe I'm gonna grab just a smidge of black Hold it. into the yellow, just a smidge, and then get the white paint that I smudged on my hand. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know this, but in landscape painting, a lot of artists will use black to make their landscape greens. So. A good thing to have around. I'm going to come right here and uh, this one is maybe like a little more green in the yellow. I'll definitely, definitely pull that forward. As I come forward, I'm going to wipe off and just get my white. And then pull that back. See, I'm pulling that back. Mm-hmm. Get that little petal shape in there. Make sure we paint all the canvas as we're going. This one actually curls the other way and is kind of peach again. Kind of a peach again. So I'm right here and I'm going to get right into that. And what's peach? Peach is orange with white. So if pink, there we go. If pink is red and white, peach is orange and white. I have to answer that question. My daughter really loves peach, so. I have a lot of peach questions that I have to deal with every day. They had to make a lot of different peaches. Lots of different peaches. Are you guys starting to see how when you're dealing with a complicated structure, whether it's a bazillion D jelly beans, which who doesn't like to paint a bazillion D jelly beans? I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, yeah. My mom gets so excited when anyone paints a bazillion D jelly beans. Hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah. She just is so impressed by that. And the reason artists get impressed by somebody painting all the jelly beans is because you have to do this process here, and it's not a small feat, is it? I guess not, yeah. So I wasn't asking that in an absurd way. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I hadn't like thought this. about it. I was just like, well, you're right. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not like you just get to, like, throw on some implied brush strokes to say, there's a bunch of jelly beans here. Mm-mm. You really got to say... There's a bunch of jelly beans here, and you, you have to say it implicitly. Say it. I added a little bit of black to that because I wanted to show this a little bit in deeper shadow. I'm going to rinse out, and I'm going to soften those two lines. But it's just something I really wanted there. I guess you could you could use impressionism to do jelly beans. You could, you could, but it, it's not the you know we're not doing like super high realism but we're doing realism here and you know for this kind of a thing i'm going to put out a little of my uh, cad red i think 
So I think that uh, in our house, impressionism of jelly beans is an empty bag. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm adding just a little of the white into this right here, and I'll go ahead and put a little yellow in. And that's how we're going to catch this unusual color that we have on this particular petal. You can see how at each petal, what we're trying to do is tell these different stories. Mm, Yeah. Of what's happening. Not get too lost in the shapes. Let me get right in here. And you can see we're just getting it very much darker. Where this petal goes in. To the main flower. So I think it's important to remember to shade your petals. Shade your petals, yo. <laughs> Don't be shady with your petals. I'll be shady with my petals if I want to. All right, well, fine. <laughs> See what they're, they're gonna they're gonna pivot on you if you do. And Shh, I'm gonna make them at. pivot right nope. now. <gasps> this is where I'm at. I'm trying to find my own self in my own painting. So just I'm, just so you know, I'm like, oh. I'm getting my bearings. There's this. And then there's a little pocket one here. And then another little pocket one here. So it's just trying to find them. You're finding the... You're looking for it. I'm looking for like, what's next. It's here. That one that I've it's got right maybe do right here, and there's this one. It's right here. I've got to find that space. around and make sure I've got the little pocket in there. Get my white and yellow into it. There we go. And yellow into it. Filling that in. As you do, maybe come under and shade a little bit here too. It's important to make sure that you just keep in the values of these petals. Whew! Lot going on. It's getting close though. It is. It's just a lot going on. We got a lot. So you're rotating lot. again. Yeah, it's just I'm just trying to keep in there and not get completely overwhelmed. Completely, completely overwhelmed. Where are we going now? All right, we're putting that I'm side. trying to go somewhere. I'm just seeing what... I'm going to go right here, I believe. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little of my green and a little of my phthalo blue, and I'm going to make turquoise. And on occasion, I'm going to get some yellow into that. And that's how I'm going to get the next few mixes oh, of my leaf colors. So as I'm going to come here, just right there, and I'll pay attention to the inside shape. You can see why tracing it on is super helpful. There you go. And then maybe a little more of this depth of the color. Right here. And then also coming back this way. I like to go that a little bit of depth. And as I come up over it and get some white into that mix, as you do. Adding that lighter value, and then I've got one more step lighter value that I need to add. 
So I wipe off my brush and grab a lot more white and make sure that I do that. Now next to this one is a slightly more yellow curved one. So I gotta get right back into my yellow. And just keep going. And that's what you do on these. You just keep going one petal at a time. It really is just a journey. This is an adventure. This is a quest. It's a quest. It's a petal quest. <laughs> I get a little more into my blue and add some white into that mix. To lighten up the value. After maybe, oh, that was a big clump of white. That right off the canvas there. Right, as you as you have it. And get into this. There you go. Nice dark color. The showing. Now I'm gonna come into I think maybe my blue. And I'm going to do a couple things. Where stuff might be visually confusing through here, I'm going to just really quick make some outlines. So I don't get completely lost. There's that one there. Because there's a lot. And really, a lot of the dark value is going to be the green and the blue. And we're going to have to be quite dark. Around these areas. And make sure that we get them just really, really situated as we go. Capturing the dark values. Yeah. Mm hmm As we're going. And you're we're getting... also adding up to the light values as, as it's happening. You're cruising right along. Am I? I am surprised. You're getting close. Yeah, I think when it all, you know, it's like one of those things, when it all comes together, it's going to come together so crazy fast that we're going to be like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Let's get some lighter colors onto here. This petal and that petal are bent over. And I think, and then this petal is also bent over. I've got to capture all that bent over petal. Yum yum. Again, maybe another coat here just to keep darkening it. Pull it up there. There. All those different little values. All those different little bits of joy. Right here. Capturing all these different little things. Making sure that you're really covering the canvas is important. And then where we've got to really pop those, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of yellow, get a little blue into it. So it's kind of turquoise, right? I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to get my white. I'm 
and then right here. There we go. There it goes. Curved over little petals. And maybe a little white and blue. Sort of showing through here. And going on. Right? Yeah. This corner is a little bit involved out here. As it can get. So first I'm going to start out with. I'll go ahead and reinforce. Some of the lines I know that I'm dealing with, so I don't lose them. Put that turned petal right there. And it has this sort of interesting little pocket opening. Right, that's happening. And then this little friend here is quite pointed and goes in. Pulling the blue around and in here. Dark blue right there. That petal would curve down. Curves right down towards those. And I've got a little phthalo blue, phthalo green to make turquoise. I don't know where my thing was going, but I'm going to ignore it. Get a little water on there. Let's keep pulling that down. Right. A little bit right there. Pulling that through. Ah, doing good, aren't we? Yeah. It's you keep saying that, but I feel like the there's line. a lot to do there. But yeah, we're getting closer. You are. Oh, I'm Maybe I'm cheering for myself over here. You're getting close. You're getting closer. You're doing great. Everyone, you should tell Johnny's doing a great job. Because this is not an easy thing to switch cameras on or edit. Very challenging. You know, there's a lot that's happening. Well, some Some paintings are less intense for me than others mm -hmm. this one's pretty focused i've been pretty focused this entire one and i think this painting almost requires a focus doesn't it mm -hmm. there we go nice deep color right here like the blue. It's a fun area to get into. Very, very fun area. Go ahead and get a little dark blue right there. Definitely have a little dark blue right there. A couple places maybe up here as well. Our little petals that are maybe going off. And then a bit dark coming up here, because like around here, it should be like sort of in shadow. So I'm going to grab this and I'll highlight some of these. A little water. Improve that flow, right? The paint must flow. Get that highlight on that curled petal. Anywhere I've got a curled petal, I've got to think about its shape and the highlight. And then it curves down. That's got going on. Because they bend over. Like this one is bent.
That's okay. It can be bent. We accept its bent nature. Adding those lighter values through here of those little petals that are sort of out of focus, but still there. Yeah. Making sure we're covering the canvas. When we don't do underpaintings, it's very important that we make sure that we are, you know, covering that canvas. All right, I'm painting in all these little spots. And maybe getting right into that turquoise again, as you, as one enjoys. Going under here. I like a little turquoise. Under that little curve petal. Gonna get a lot more white onto that. Just enjoying that bend. That's a nice bend. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing good. Whew. Feel like we're doing super good. I do too. I like it. Oh, I've got my bright, bright turquoise, and I'm going to get a lot of white on my brush. Come right here. More white on there and paint those little openings. Aren't those fun? Yeah. So Enjoying those. How do you get your early bits? How do you get your heavy bodied paint to flow so nicely? It is really a matter of water and brush. So my brush is stiff enough to really load the belly. Like the brush will pull up a lot of paint into the belly and I add just enough water to get the flow out without damaging the integrity of the paint. Oh, I need another sip of uh, coffee before I can take a couple questions before I get the next thing. Yeah, Let me make sure, yeah. sure. I was just trying to make sure yeah, I got Don't you the... roll into my thing. Yeah, that's, the, that's how we want that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Sometimes I like, well, no, sometimes I'll look and I'm like, little bits of the canvas are peeking through, and I'm like, oh, let's fill those in. And that's how you do that, they were asking. You just, just go back glaze, in. And you know, if I see it, just, just pick the lightest value and come in and fill them in, and then you can always re darken it as you need to. All right, how are you guys liking that? Really let's, nice. Let's put it right up, sip our coffee, take it in for a second, because you've always got to take a minute. Oh my gosh, you're right, we are almost done. Guys, we're almost done. Truly, truly, truly. This, you're gonna you flip it open. You guys kind of freaking out. You're gonna you're gonna paint it the other way though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't flip over that. No, I'm gonna paint it the other way. I actually have it the wrong way. I think. No, are you gonna? So is, who knows is, anymore? I don't even know what way it goes anymore. Whatever <laughs> way you want it to go. <laughs> so the 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 are are you going through this and done, or are you gonna go back and highlight it once you're all done? I might pop some highlights in there, but we've really been trying to do that on the petals as we go. That's, yeah. Which is why you're really seeing them, yep. right? So that's something like if you want to, if you want to keep at it and keep pushing those contrasts, you can. Um, if you want to put some of them in focus or not in focus, you can. Hmm. <laughs> it's really up to you as the creative about how far you want to take it. My idea was to make sure I was getting the highlights and the work as I went. So that the piece, you know, was fairly resolved as we as we went along. Well, I had no idea it was storming so bad outside. I know, man. We're lucky to have connection. All right. Well, we should get get to this. I'm I, sipping my coffee. I know we you, should get to it, but it is what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you coffee, and I will defend the the integrity. I I uh no. 
I mean, just can we chill. We're just doing this thing. Like we have this YouTube show where we teach people how to paint. It's super it's low pressure. In theory, man, like that's what we keep saying, but it's like there's it's pretty easy. We don't don't like not a whole lot of things can go wrong here. You say that. You say these things, but Most I don't know that that's fair. Uh -oh. glasses. Picture and pictures all up in there. Well, I we normally see when we're over here. See, like you can look over there now, and I'll keep this on so you can see. See, it's kind of tucked out of the way. Yeah. Ooh, thunder. Hmm. We'll have to have a thunder cam someday. We can cut to the outside sky and let people see what's Goodness going on. Goodness gracious, right? <sighs> so I'm just trying to make sure that I can see the petals that I've sketched in, making sure that I am following my own plan. Lining them all in. Just to, just to make sure that I've got some sense of it. Because it's really easy to get lost in, in the process. Right? Really easy. I'm going to take a little of my purple and my quin again. I'll mix them together. I have a dark color while I'm, while I'm processing it out. A little bit there, just trying to get those edges. As you do. Little thunder. Yeah, a little bit of it. So I've got this little purple here that I'm starting to think about. And it's kind of like a straight up little doohickey majiggy. I'm back into that space as I come around into the blue. A little of my purple on there. Now I can always grab some white as I need to. Just paint the colors. Little highlighted white right there. And another little bit of highlighted white right there. And uh, maybe right here. A wonderful time to get into those colors and enjoy yourself. Just have fun. Probably have to put out a little more white. In just a second. Just pulling in the shadows and pulling in the bend of the, the thing. I'll put out a little more white. You can see why I like to get the white in the big giant size. Mm-hmm. 
That's just the best size of white ever. Because you use twice as much white as any other color. There we go. Pulling along. Again, still grabbing a bit of the Quinn and we'll come in and catch the shadow of this. You do want to make sure that you're catching those as you go. Right there. Having some fun painting along. Now I'm going to add a little of my dark value in there, which is my purple and my magenta. Mostly my purple. Quite dark. And pretty soon we're going to start switching into the purples and the blues. go more water white on my brush just playing the highlights and the shadows There. Okay, I have to start getting into my blue because these start to transition pretty radically to blue pretty quickly. So I've got my blue and I've got a little of my purple. We're going to start to. Come down there. And there's an interesting little petal that wiggles out here and comes back in. It's got a nice deep value there. Let's make sure we catch that. Keep going. You can do this. You've got this. Wherever you are, don't worry. Remember, I'm with you the whole time because you can pause me. Yeah. <laughs> So you will never be doing this alone, right? You can take this at your own pace. You can find your own journey through it. Once while I come and get some white on there. Pull that through. Highlight right here. A little blue. Right here, I'm going to come down like that. I'm going to grab some more blue and fill in the shadow of this petal right here. Now I know I've got the turned one there. I'm just filling it in. And you can see how we're starting to actually get 
where we needed to be. Right? How are we doing? Very good. That one, and then get a little darker color right here. Get them white and blue, like a light color water into that let's come along the outside of this even a bigger highlight there between those two and one that's coming along here Petals bent over. We get another little highlight right there. I'm going to take a little of my blue and green together and get back into my turquoise. There we go. Come here, turquoise. Blue and green. Very transparent, phthalo turquoise, but completely worth doing. Sorry if I'm in your way. I am leaning because I'm fatigued, guys. Mm. Well, you've been painting for a little while now, huh? Mm, yeah. Yeah, maybe a half a second. Maybe half a second. Coming up here and making sure that we've got these deep values. We need them for those petals where they're curving. I'm going to take a little sip because I am coming to the center of the flower. You can see that. We'll yeah. pull the picture and picture down. There we so go. You can see. I'm just, just looking for that button. Now, you are you, really you not amazed? You're doing this 11 by 14. Could you so, do this 16 by 20? Yes. Could you do this 30 by 40? How would you do that? Get much bigger brushes. <laughs> like, you know, on a bigger painting, this should be your detail brush. <laughs> and then big chunkers for the big petals. That's how you would do that. You don't try to paint that with teeny tiny little brushes because you just it's just forever and ever and ever before you're done. <laughs> Is that honey? Uh, I'm not sure. I was just there's somebody out there, but I don't know if it's honey. If it's honey, I was going to get them to eat my coffee, but coffee. Warmer. I don't know that it's honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm getting back into my turquoise again. You put some more turquoise out. Yeah, I got that right there, and I'm going to get a very light color, and I will come here to this petal. I'm trying not to lean, but it's you know as you go on in the day, sometimes that's harder. Pretty good. All right. Now we've got to get into the detail. I'm going to get some fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. 
Yes. Well, the freshest at point, of fresh. At this point, one might say that four waters could be justified. <laughs> one might say it. Now, here we are, and we're at the end result, right? You're at, you're at the detail -y bits. The detail -y bits. Now, we're going to come here. With dark colors. I'm going to. Making sure that what we're doing is we're painting in those shadows where we know we're going to have these curved over petals. And I am making a point of painting the darkest values. It's almost like outlining. Take a moment and say thank you to all of our moderators who've hung in with us today. Oh my gosh, the mods. I'm sorry, guys. You guys have done a great job. Thank you. And they're, they are all over the country <laughs> helping us out. They volunteer their time to make sure that this, you know, that you guys have got a easy, they answer questions, help make sure the chat stays nice. So, you have, you know, I, I really appreciate all the help they give me because I, they do, they catch so much that I couldn't. So, thank you. They really do. And to make sure you guys know where your resources are. You know, it can, it can get a little overwhelming, right? Hmm. So that's a good question. Hmm. Julie would like to know, could this be done as a grisai? You could do this as a grisai. I feel like. Everybody likes the Grisai method so much. You could do this as a Grisai. Yes, you could. I feel like that's a, that's a, like, I could always, I could always go for a Grisai. I mean, that's just, you know, it's like any old time. You could just, you know, are you up for Grisai? I'm up for a Grisai. You could, you know, we're always up for a good Grisai. Always, yeah, I think, I think we're always up for a good Grisai. So you, that's just given. So I, this is like my darkest value. I don't really want to go into the black. So what I'm doing is I am creating depth where I'm going to be curving the petals over the center. Right. And so that's what I've got going on there. And I can use these two. Even to capture some of that. You know, so you're just using that dark color to pop a little bit of what you've got going on. Right. We should have done this painting on April 1st. So and you everyone just thought stop. I was kidding. You could just stop right here. You know, what I did on April 1st is I told everybody we were doing a daily painting and they had to spend the whole day wondering if I was playing a practical joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm just taking the purple and the blue and I'm using this as my dark value and I'm going to come in and I'm going to find edges. Right? And that's going to pop that contrast. I'm going around my little petals. And you're going to start to see all of them now much more clearly. I'm going to keep this particular value kind of through this space, and then I'll probably switch it to a, um, a turquoise here, and then a magenta purple through here, and a deep orange or maybe magenta through, through this as we go through. And that's also going to give us that extra dimensionality that we're going to need. I can see it already. Can you see it? The rains have passed, but the trains have come. Well, sometimes, you know, a painting takes a minute. You don't see this a lot live because... <laughs> it's because they, as, as she says, they take a minute. They take a minute. And also because I think it probably feels like there's a lot of risk. Do it live. 
Because mentally and emotionally, these are not a small challenge. And again, what you're seeing me do here is just make sure that we have these deep values. I think it's important to have those, especially in this center bit. And you can kind of just see it come together as we put these little elements in, can't you? While you're here, go ahead and get a little of your blue and your purple and just go ahead and do what we talked about. Get those little petal lines defined. As you can. will really help your image pop. Adding those deeper values allows it to come up a bit. Can you guys see it now happening? Yeah, yeah it really does pop. Start to put the colors. All right, so we've got a little magenta, magenta purple kind of happening. I'm going to come. Ow. Mm. Mm. You know, this is kind of an. I like the colorfulness of this. It's wonderful, right? Yeah. Makes me very happy. Makes me pretty happy, too. Now we're going to just put these little petals in. Oh, we'll put out some white paint that I need to around different places. So lots of nice, clean, bright white paint to lighten my colors with. So I am experiencing some, I'm going to finish the painting, but I am experiencing some stiffening in my uh, shoulder. Mm. Are you stiff? I am super stiff. You're super stiff? You... Are you in a place where you probably shouldn't finish? No, I should finish. Because you're like, I don't tell him. He'll make me stop. Yeah. So that's what I, I know, really. She's at the point where she should have stopped like probably half hour ago. <laughs> but she's going to paint anyway. I'm going to finish the sucker up. Yeah, that's. That's what you do when you're a teacher. I'm just coming around with these wonderful colors and I'm filling them in. And you know, capture some of that special essence that we have right here. Filling that all in, little forward petals. And then what's great is then I come in and I can get a little of my white on here and then This is really nice. Isn't that Together. wonderful? And yeah. it just curls over. Those little little brush, those little brush strokes just make the little ends just whoop, whoop. Yes, <laughs> they really do. <laughs> don't don't forget to stop and stretch, Sherry uh, says. Stretch, stretch the Sherpa, stretch the Sherpa, stretch oh, the yeah, God. Gonna make it all the way. Gonna do it. <laughs> oh, Sherpa. No, never Can give up, never it. surrender. Because apparently this is Toy Story. It's not an Adam Sandler film. You can do it. <laughs> it feels like it a little bit. 
but I know I can and I'm choosing to like say hey you know I think I've got this I think I can get through this and be pretty spectacular with it so I'm gonna keep going mm. you're gonna you're gonna literally suffer for your art sometimes I do that crawl right up on the uh, artist the, the martyrdom palette. yeah the artist palette there you know you do what you gotta do you gotta do it It happens. But you know what? The things we do for our art. I mean, I like to play with fire. Yes, you do. It does. Make you happy, I know. And it's hot. Is it hot? I have lost some eyebrows. Well, there you go. It's You know, what's funny is when you light a forge and you thought it was lit and you, you're like, huh, let me throw a match and then it, poof, and then all your eyebrows disappear. <gasps> Ooh, that was a fireball. So, yeah, we've all, I guess we've all done these things. Yes, we have. Just making sure these are all in here. As I go forward. Now, you're painting these a little differently here. You're I am. I'm hurt. Oh. So, you know. <laughs> Well, I, well, I don't I mean, know what you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I mean. I know, you know, just, so, I mean, I, we've said it. <laughs> no, I mean that you've. Uh, I've lost mobility is what it is. Well, actually, so maybe we don't point it out anymore. I hadn't noticed that. What I was, what I, what I meant was, is that the, you're putting some, some whining in the background. Whereas before you sort of like, you, you're mixing the blue and the red there. Mm -hmm. Whereas before you just did like all reds. And then yeah, I'll no, I'm use. having to go around again because I've got, I'm going to get some white as I go through so I can hopefully catch some of these while they're still. Ah, you're trying to get more blendy blendiness to them. Yeah. While well, they're still wet enough to, I see. to be there. And also, I'm hurt. <laughs> and oh. you're, you're stiffening up. I am really stiffening up. And that's that's because you've been in a three hour boxing match with no, that painting. No, it's because I went to pick up a box over my head in a weird way. And well it didn't that, work out for me. That's true. So, you know, but that doesn't mean some you know, a lot of people paint and maybe they have less mobility in that painting moment. Right? That is not unusual. No, there. Everyone says it's okay if you want to like. No, I know. I'm not gonna though. I I know. You've met me. I'm not I gonna. I know you. I know you. This is short of power loss. Don't you fake it? I will know. <laughs> hey, everybody, watch this. Look seriously. <laughs> no, that's not cute. That's not even cute. <laughs> <laughs> You've been married to me long enough to know I got no sense of humor when I'm hurt. So mess with me, it's your own peril. <laughs> if you truly think that that's a good idea, go for it. <laughs> but you think you'd like to see your kids graduate school someday? Now, you really haven't used too many brushes. You've pretty much used round brushes this entire time. Yeah, I, I just needed a brush that gave me some control and wasn't really messing with me. I am using a mix of magenta and purple here to get kind of a deeper value. And I am catching all my little shadows as I'm going. Mm. You've had a pretty big crowd here this entire time. We've Well, I appreciate everyone being here because one, this was a journey. I, I think but that if you guys notice what I'm doing is I'm giving my I'm making sure on the last petals I've got enough of an outline to kind of see where I'm going so I don't get lost, especially as, you know, I'm dealing with different levels of fatigue. and It's been a chatty, chatty group, too. Have you guys been chatty? I love it when you guys are chatty. All right, we're done. Oh. I've been enjoying it, too. It's, it's been go. keeping me on my toes as I've been chatting. You know, it's interesting because I can get back from it. It's just the being up on it that I'm 
Well, I, I really like how when I see you paint like that, because it's, it's, it's a, you know, when you, you have long handled brushes and you don't get a chance to use them like that very often. They're four. Yeah. That's really interesting to be able to see you kind of step back and use them. Oh, I mean to. Yeah. Whew. Almost there, guys. You did a tousled hair. You're all like, I'm, I've got paint tousled hair. I need to heat my coffee. Will you guys indulge me while I heat my coffee? I will. I will they, they, look, it's our show. So you go do and be a Okay, I'm going to go heat my coffee. I'm you guys indulge around. me, and then we're going to finish up, and it's going to be gorgeous yeah, and so pretty. And, and go we're going to hit our highlights and everything, because y'all mentioned highlights earlier, so we don't want to miss those. Oh, no, I was just, they were, they were just asking various questions in chat. So I'm going to mute you. Shh, she's muted. So I'm going to come back here, and we'll look around at this one. And I must say thank you guys for coming and hanging out because it's been a pretty crazy day. And we've done all sorts of like painting and that's a pretty good paint. It's a pretty good view. I like that painting. That turned out pretty nice. I can zoom in there a little bit. I think that she's coming in, no? No, I guess that's just the one. So yeah, it's actually when you get a when you get that little front on view of it, it's you can see it's turned out pretty nice. We're pretty close to being done. Not very far at all. So I think it generally, it takes her about 30 seconds to go get uh, whatever it is she's doing because, you know, 30 seconds is about how long it takes to microwave the coffee. And I think that probably that's about how long it'll take her to do this. I think I hear her laughing. <sighs> is that you? Not laughing, but I am here. You're there? Yes. Oh, let's see. Where are you? <sighs> You there? Recording. There oh, there you are. Hello. <sighs> mm. Chrysanthemum, you shall not wing. <laughs> That's right. This is actually, I really like how it's coming out, though. We just, it's we a took beautiful a little, piece. We'll yep. all be glad that we did it. We took a little cruise around while you were gone. Oh, did you? Yeah. Have a nice little moment. We did. We had a little cruise. Oh, there's little things to wrap it up. I'm going to get a little of my white and yellow again. I'm going to make sure that I capture some highlights there. Very important to get that all kind of worked out. And I'm going to take a little of my just yellow and come in and make sure that I get those shapes worked out. So at this stage, it's easy to lose your, uh, your shapes. Mm. You don't want to lose your shapes. Not at all. I really, I you mean, work man, darn hard to get to those shapes. This is coming together so nice. Those, it is. It's gonna come the, those, really well. those contrasty lines really come together. No. And, and we've got little bits to do to get them, right? Because you've got to... There's a little bit to do to get everywhere. Worth it, though. Who's buzzing us? <laughs> as long as it's not my mother, it's okay. Making sure that you're going to put biofreeze on your shoulder. Who is? Is it your mom or my mom? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's your mother. I think my mom is out with her boyfriend right now. On a say. boat. No, no, they're not on a boat. No. They're back, but I think that they're out doing movies or something recreational, so she doesn't know what I'm up to. Well, there you go. Because otherwise, I would be getting that call, too. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, Are you overpainting? Oh, always. Can't Although, say anything. It's, you paint a lot. You paint more than anybody else I've ever met. Yeah? And... I have, I have some moments. I have to say, honestly, I watch people paint more than anyone else I know. You do. You could say I'm a professional paint dryer yeah, like watcher. More, you watch people paint like most people watch professional poker. Oh, my, like people watch NASCAR. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it, it's a whole thing for you, isn't it? I'm it really is. Like white onto this and then catch this one right here. Between like the shows that we make and what we watch on YouTube and like it's it's a thing, man. Yeah, and um, yeah. Probably don't watch as much painting on YouTube as I should, just because I'm busy painting. 
on YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, I, I, I think I'd like to be able to do that more. I'm going to use a little green here for the dark value. No, but it just gets to be a thing where you're you're busy making the art. Yeah, I I don't think I could take up painting because it would cut into the time that I end up watching painting. Yeah, is I that just, is that going to be the excuse that we're using now? I couldn't do that. I I I got to get my. You paint can't paint because you're too busy watching me paint. Pretty much. That's why you have to work on the car. You should just cut into your work the car cut. Oh. Don't talk crazy. The Suzuki's not going to fix itself. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I haven't bought the robot Baxter yet. Uh, I'm going to get a little red into it. As soon as I get Baxter, it's on, man. Uh, maybe a little magenta. Some white, because I'm making some peach. Love peach. If anyone would like to send me some industrial robots, I'd be open for it. He would. He's not even kidding. You don't have to, though. Don't feel pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure pressure i want robots all right i'm gonna move this again last time and then after this i've just got some lining to do and then we will be done okay well this and is it coming will be along amazing like, there's just a little bit left this is just a little bit just a little bit it's left yo. it's very stained glassy it is very isn't it bright and now you can see why i was like reluctant to take this onto a dark canvas or so sometimes I can get away with nonsense here because I've got this beautiful acrylic or I've got golden or I've got full bind or some gorgeous paint and it will just do anything. But I recognize you might be sitting at home, you know, with something that has a little less pigment. And if I do this all on a black canvas, you might be like, what? <laughs> Not having as much fun. So that's why also it's nice to be able to do it this way because it makes sure that you're getting a good result, you know, and a nice bright result. Yes. Mm. It's going to be a gorgeous colored pencil piece, too. I'm just trying to find any colors that I'm doing. I don't even know what I got going on. I'm going to take some of my CAD red light and mix it into my quinacridone magenta, and I'll come right here. Fun for me. Ooh, so weird. I like, <laughs> I like weird colors. I like the colors of this. The you know, salmon -y. All the colors of this painting, mm -hmm. you can say, it fills me with great pride. It should. Matter of fact, I might, I might give this to some of my friends. What? Who would like to celebrate pride <laughs> if I were to paint. This would, would be you? the one I would do, yeah. Yeah, I would I like do this, this one right too. But you know, um, there's lots of reasons to paint. You got to find the right ones for you. Um, I got actually asked about that, like why why I don't like label things, like for specific events or another. And uh, I think sometimes that's because I'm not trying to uh, necessarily market or profit off of certain events. Mm. You know? Yep. Not that there's, not that that's not okay. I am happy when I see retail stores be super inclusive. That makes me super happy. I'm much more likely to shop there, retail stores. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are listening, retail stores, much more likely to shop in your store if you are inclusive. But, you know... Sometimes I um, I don't know if this makes sense. Reticent of doing something just for a search result. There's so many things separating us. It seems crazy. To yeah. To pick, to find any more reason to be yeah, separate to just... or upset or unkind or intolerant or judgmental it just seems not good for any of us. That's to not here. Yeah, not here. I am coming forward with this. So I have I have a, one of my very favorite pride stories. Mm. And, it, and it wasn't like, it was kind of accidentally for that. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Mostly because my mom lives in her own little bubble. <laughs> so we were in Philadelphia for a show during Pride. And we actually stayed uh, in this historic 1920s hotel. Right? Mm-hmm. And so there's just rainbows everywhere. Rainbows everywhere. And I was like, oh, cool. Look where we are. And I'm like, this is going to be like amazing. And my mom the whole time was like, I love how they've embraced color here. She's like, they just love the rainbow. And then she's like, it's like they love me. She's like, because the rainbow is me. And she's like, and everywhere I look, there's rainbows. And she's buying hats. She's buying shirt. Just anything with the rainbow on it. Yep. Well, I remember. I- and she's just like, all oh, these women are so friendly. <laughs> Just like, just everyone is coming up and talking to me. I'm like, are they? I, I have to say, the first time, the first time I made it to the Castro, it in was San wonderful. Francisco, like the first time I made it to the Castro in San Francisco, and I saw all the rainbows on the ground mm-hmm. and on the street and everywhere. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So there's a lot of celebration of color there. Yeah. It was, it was really cute. I had to break it to my mom eventually. She was like, "Really?" I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Oh, that's okay." <laughs> She's like, she's like, I can share the rainbow. I love that she conceded that she would share. I, I can see. She I would share. Share. My mom would share the rainbow. Mm. With <laughs> leprechauns too, because they got they got dibs on. on no, rainbows. no, you can't trust those. I watch, uh, I watch American Gods. Don't trust a leprechaun. I totally am with you, but <laughs> coming from that, you know, part of the world, my Irish ancestry, I have to say, I favor a rainbow. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, one of my, I think one of my pivotal remembering, remembering my childhood was the rainbow. Uh, my uh, parents were, uh, I was witnesses. Hmm. And my very favorite uh, Bible story was uh, Noah's Ark, as I think many kids mm, yeah. who, who grow up. And I just loved the message of the rainbow of you know, I'm never, I'm never going to do this again. It was just, it gave me such heart and hope. It's such a symbol of compassion and hope and definitely worth embracing. Well, we've deviated after wow. a long class, but you know, it is what it that is. And truth out. is truth. And yeah. I have to outline now. You're outlining. Well, I must find my outline. I'm going to take a little of my green and my blue into my turquoise. And that's what I'm going to do through here. If I may. It won't take that long. Well, you, we're, yeah. So, in the comments, what's your favorite rainbow? What's your favorite? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, what's your? There it goes. <laughs> my least favorite shot, babe. What's your favorite rainbow? <laughs> you know, whatever it is, it's okay. We have room for each other. But what's mm-hmm. your favorite rainbow? I'm gonna outline everything with. Uh, with phthalo turquoise. Yeah. Sean and I have identified ourselves as, I guess, anti-leprechaun, so that's I'm weird. not anti-leprechaun. I'm Are pro, you not? They're really leprechaun. scary. Have you ever read up on those? Yes. I'm very pro-leprechaun. <sighs> Don't mess with leprechauns. Don't, Everything's man. cool. They will mess you up. And what I, what I love is all my Irish family, they are not at all superstitious until, until dark, dark. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> not until dark so i'm finding these sort of deeper value spaces on the petals and i'm going to outline them and what that's going to do is it's going to allow the piece to sort of come together and uh take on um, a more graphic feel and allow each petal I maybe like, like pop out from each other a little bit i gotta gotta flip the Picture in picture again, though, you keep... Yeah, I'm going to go so fast it may not even have a point. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I'll just watch. And then also I don't want to lose the petals that I had already put in, as you do. I'm just using the toe of the brush as I'm going. Oh my gosh. So what is she doing? <laughs> I was like, I heard this lapping sound over there. I thought I hit my sorry. I thought I hit my mute and I actually hit the picture in picture button. But I heard this lapping sound 
And I was like, what is that? Because I'm wearing noise blocking headphones, so it had to be pretty loud. And I look over, and little Twix is standing up on your desk, her little nose right in that can of bean <gasps> dip. She got my bean dip? She got the bean dip. I was literally counting down to the end of the show and my bean dip. Well, you're she, gonna have to go out and get me some bean dip. Found it. <laughs> you're gonna have to go out and get me some bean dip. I can't. I can't. Um, That's I okay. I, I was thinking. I would, yeah. This turned out nice. Oh, I like that. The orange on the yellow. Isn't that fun? Oh, that did turn out. Yeah, we just go around and we find these little edges. We find these little moments. Oh, that's, even that's, that little corner is super nice, right? Even that little corner is super nice. Oh, I love this. It turned out super nice. I love this. I love this. I love this. Okay, so you got three minutes till three hours. Okay, well, that this is a reasonable amount of time. I told you it was going to be a minute this on the This is three planet. hours. I'm just like, I'm just letting Look, you know that you did some this. Some paintings are short, and some paintings take a minute, and this took a minute. This didn't do too bad at all. No. You know, and you can break these painting sessions into different amounts of time. You could break this one into three painting sessions and not be a marathon crazy person. Commentary on my choices, John? Yes, it is. <laughs> I like how I'm like, I'm like, peace and love for everyone. And then my husband, I'm like, is that commentary on my... <laughs> <laughs> peace and love for everyone. What, John? <laughs> <laughs> Who's <laughs> making comments no, on the painting? No quarter for the crew. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the husband. That's a much more dangerous territory to be in. So I have to tell you, as I come to the end of this wonderful painting and I get to thinking and waxing philosophically, as we do when we are, I would love my children to grow up in a world where we really valued each other and each other's lives and each other's well-being deeply it would be my greatest pleasure you know as the internet helps us become closer and we're able to share things more in our experiences i would just love it if all of our kids grew up in a world where every expression of compassionate reasonable non-serial killer Expressions of human life, obviously. So, <laughs> serial killer. It, I'm, wow. I'm you, sorry. I, I'm, it's the end I don't of painting. Mean, you took a dark turn there. I, I, but I just don't want to, like, obviously, when, sometimes when you say on the internet, you're like, and we love everybody. And they're like, what about serial killers? All right, not serial killers, okay? No, We're going mean, like, to assume not bad people. Except Dexter was kind of okay. So then even that becomes problematic. And Dr. Cox, he's kind of a good bad guy. Uh, I think he's just a doctor, sweetie. I think that's just how doctors are. Doctors everywhere are like damn. <laughs> <laughs> or they're like, yes, that's true. <laughs> well, maybe you. Could, both uh, could be true. Both could be true. You can see I'm getting more into the purple as I'm coming around onto this. This is definitely. So weak. now I'm catching my second wind. Y'all are in trouble. Right? Now as I catch my second wind, I don't know, man. You guys are in trouble. See, now we're getting to the. Mystery science theater part of the night. This is why John doesn't let me do late night uh, streams anymore. <laughs> We're not get, a comedy show. I get, no, I, okay. So first of all, don't, I, I'm, I'm not a comedian, so I'm probably not that funny, even though I laugh at my own jokes. Um, so. I laugh at your jokes. You do, but you're married to me, so you have to. They're not married to me. They don't have to. They're, they're just painting with me. You're not obligated to think I'm funny. Now, now there's a whole group that are going to be so nice and like, no, you're funny. Because <laughs> they're so nice. <laughs> Niceness is a defining factor of our community. It is. And it's something I'm really, really proud of. Um, you know, it isn't true everywhere in the world. We're just sort of, you know, you've So we're you've pretty blessed that you guys are so compassionate and you guys are so kind and so supportive and... We've just sort really of really there for each other, and this has turned into chatting as you're finishing up. Well, they know I'm outlining everything. You're just you're like I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're like I'm getting it done. I'm uh, put. I'm bringing it across the finish line. 
We're going to do it. Back. Not too much. It's not too much. I don't know how to break it to him. We're just halfway through. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, we, have the, we have the other half of the painting to do. This is the underpainting. Good luck. <laughs> and now we're going to finish with pointillism. <laughs> One little dot of painting. We're not going to do any of that. Don't worry. I'm going to put little shadows. So where I know that there's deep shadows in the petals, right? you can take this time to deepen them and help pull each little petal shape out from what's behind it. And that's, that's kind of what we're you know, really doing here. This is cool. It's sort of turned into a, um, it's a hand grenade of color. A holy hand grenade? The holy hand grenade The cunning color. use of turnips. Turnips, might I say, turnips. Mm. Hey, I, no Monty Python hate, because love them. I didn't say I was a good Monty Python. See, I'm going to get in so much trouble. I was doing trouble? so good. There's no trouble. There's no troubles. Everybody happy? Everyone is very happy. There's no angry emojis? <laughs> no. Just happy emojis. <sighs> That's the one thing I do miss about that other platform is where you have the little scrolling emojis that come up. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. See, I want to be careful to not like say its name because the algorithm gets we'll jealous. Will punish us. Well, see, the algorithm can now, can now listen to the words that we say. And if we... If we say, I haven't even decided it, which direction is upside up or upside down with this. I'm serious. I don't know. I can check by the picture in picture. That looks like the right way up. What I got? Yep. I'm going to reset I just to make sure. I'm not sure it was. Yep. But that's I, it. That's reset. So that's the original way you sent me the image. So that's. This is it? Okay. I don't even know anymore. There's been so many petals and it's been such a journey. Coming around. You see, I'm just getting those outlines in where they need to be. Making sure the center here yeah. has that deep value that it needs to really, because you really want the center of the croissant. Oh, there we go. All right. You got Yay! it. This got, it turned out Yay! good. Now I'm going to sign probably over here tucked in a little bit just because I worked really hard to get here and I don't want to mess up my space if that's cool with y'all. Mm. Oh, that's totally cool. <laughs> like I don't want to mess up what I did because I'm really happy with how far I got. I'm using a little black and blue and some white. So that I can create a signature that will show up, but I don't want it to pull away from all the hard, hard work that I've done. And I'm going to kind of turn this at an angle so I can get it. That turned out really nice. I'm proud of that. And, hope you know, here's the thing. It's not that I'm proud of it. I'm we hoping proud you're of proud of it. You and, did a you know, lot of work. You know, and whatever reason that you're painting for. I hope that you feel like in your heart that you've accomplished a lot. That you have expressed yourself at your highest human capacity to art. And that this is something you're going to want to share online and share with other. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. That's long, but not a disappointment. I think I can even turn it around. See, look at that. Oh, let's look at that for a second. Oh, nailed it. Got weird good. at the end. Got a little strange, got a little philosophical, but what else are you going to do with the easel but start to think and listen to yourself? Here's what I'll say. The whole world comes at it all the time, telling us what to think and what to feel and how to be and how to dress. I mean, it's nonstop. If you've ever just paid attention to how much ads track you and pop-ups are happening and what the messaging is on TV and all of this, the wonderful thing about your paint time is, especially if you mute me during the live, but the wonderful thing about your paint time is, is that you get to hear yourself and you start to see what's right for you and hear what makes you the unique and special individual you are and you can live your life in that right expression 
And I really want everyone out there who hears this right now that I'm going to get teared up who, wherever you are, just know that you are made perfectly, that you are beautiful, and you're exactly as you should be, and the planet is lucky to have you. Mm -hmm. Be good to yourself. Be kind. Please be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon. And we'll paint stuff like this. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.